Hello guys, it's Carter here. Hope you're all doing great. And today I got a code for you that some of you might have seen if you've had the chance to dive into the app flipping course. If not, no worries. Um, this is a code that I walked through and, and how I flipped it and how it's been so successful for me. And I figured that because it's been so successful, what better place to feature this than the Blue Cloud site. So what I did was I teamed up with Brian who you know, it was the guy behind Avalanche Mountain and various other successful games, a lot of scratch ticket, and had him do the same relationship I had with Alex the Casino. Essentially, he went in and he made the code super nice, wrote the documentation, just really cleaned this thing up so that it was super easy for people to rescan and be able to take on themselves. So we also did a few other tweaks, which I'll walk through, and um, this game's done really, really well. In the article, you'll see uh, how much what the ROI has been, which has been just phenomenal uh, for one game. And, and that doesn't even count all the reskins I've done. So it's it's definitely a winning model. And I thought that it would be an awesome code for you guys. I think this would be something you guys would be really interested in. So what I want to do today is I'm just going to walk through. This is the iPad version. I'm on an iPad mini. But there, there's an iPhone and iPad version. And there's both a paid and a free. So with this code, you get basically four apps in the store, which is pretty sweet for each reskin. So uh, that's probably the first point. So I'm just going to walk through the iPad the um, the iPhone version looks exactly the same. It's just um, you know a little smaller. So anyway, you can hear the music, and I'm gonna turn that off uh, just so that uh, we don't get distracted by the carnival music. And so right up to, right here, you can see that. Um, so we've got two pop-ups. I'm just gonna close these. So the first one was obviously RevMob, and this is App Lovin', which I double stacked in into the code. Um, <clears throat> and then you you you're presented with this home screen. So this home screen's Kind of brings me back to if you ever run those endless runner games. This is a very kind of tried and true, uh, you know, layout of all the offerings you can have. Up in the left-hand corner there, you obviously have your sound and music, you know, sound effects and then music toggling. So if you want to turn that on, turn it off, um, people can do that. In the bottom left, that's the game center integration. So you click that. Just it's just a leaderboard. So it's easy to integrate. The IDs are right in the code. Super easy to, to switch out. The bottom there's a remove ad, so for the paid apps there won't be that remove ads for obvious reasons, but that's there for, and then up right there's the restore button, which Apple needs just for, um, you know, basic, it's, it's part of their rules now. So that's all set, you don't have to worry about that for the in-app purchase stuff. On the bottom here we have a more games button, which if you click that, obviously it shoots off, uh, you know, chart boost more games, and then the, the free game is linked up to RevMob. This is all pretty much best practice stuff. Um, and let me, you know, let me preface this by saying when I bought this game, it had none of this. It was just, it went straight into the gameplay. Like it didn't even have a splash screen. It didn't have a menu screen like this. Like none of this was available. So I added all of this with my developers, uh, which has been hugely successful, which is great. We move up um, and there's the store. And so if you press the store, and what's also nice is when you press play, it does the same thing. But I'm just going to go into the store. And so what we have is we have a few different things. Let me walk through this real quick. You'll notice that this is all done in coins. So I purposely did that to, you know, as everyone knows, I'm a big proponent of creating these currency models where you actually buy coins with in-app purchases. You don't just buy items and, you know, creating combinations of that. So by creating, uh, you know, unlocking things and creating bonuses, coins tend to be better because people can buy more and more of them over and over and then non-consumables, which means you can only buy them once. You put that in different parts of the game. So here you can see um, that this this is the first character, but if you scroll right, you see that, oh, you can be this, you know, whatever, Dr. Uh, Sherlock Holmes looking guy with a, you know, Aladdin vest on. Uh, and you can unlock these for different amounts of, you know, different coins that you get. So um, you go through and they get more and more expensive as you go, or you can just choose this one. And then the lower, lower left, you can just do a one-time thing where you, you unlock all characters. Now, if you click that, it says like, oh my gosh, you don't have enough coins, do you want to get more? And what that does is that takes you to the coin shop, which is this guy. And this is where you can actually buy, um, you know, your in-app purchases. You know, you click that and it'll fire off like an in-app purchase call. And, you know, you can buy, the, the user can buy whatever, whatever they want. So we're going to go back and let's say, oh, that's just, you know, that was the, the late in-app purchase. So... We're going to go back and we're going to select this guy. Let's say we want to play with uh, you know, Mighty Mouse here. And we click him. And then you get to the, the stages level. So after you choose your character, you go to stages. Now, when the, when the user first starts this game, this is the only stage that's unlocked. This won't, won't be unlocked. It, is, it just is because I've played this game and I've, I've gotten this level. But they'll all usually look like this. 
And what happens is when you click them, that in-app purchase will fire off. It's not right now because my internet's all, all messed up. That in-app purchase will, will say, hey, do you want to unlock level three? It's going to be 99 cents, whatever it may be. And those are just one-time purchases. And then the bottom left here, you can see it says unlock all levels. And that might be a 2 dollars and the user can unlock all four levels. So as you can see, there's only four levels here. There's a huge opportunity to make this into like a 30 level game if you ever wanted to. I mean, you could probably recycle the same graphics like five, six times and just like, you know, change it up a tiny bit and no one would know the difference. Um, but that's how that's laid out. So let's say you're a first time user, you pick the free mouse and you wanna play this level. So what happens is you click this level and it takes you right into this game. So you guys might recognize this. I'm gonna, I'm holding this iPad like I do, like I would a video game controller, right? So my left hand is down on this, on the, um, whatever you call it, the little arrow thing on the bottom right. And my right thumb is on this button. So when I push this button, the guy jumps. And so what happens is, you know, you, you've got a uh, two-handed uh, gameplay, which is actually really unique. And I never realized how, how I don't use this, I don't do this very often in, mobile apps, I don't really use the two hand thing anymore. And when you start to use it, short of like really good racing games, it makes you really remember like how much fun those like Nintendo games were, right? And so you can see these graphics are, you know, it's kind of retro. I did that on purpose uh, when I reskinned it. And it's it's super fun. Like, you know, it's got that Mario Brothers kind of kind of thing going on. And um, the feedback I've gotten is that people definitely dig that. Like they're used to the whole Mario Brothers thing, and they really, this kind of brings back, you know, memories, not to get nostalgic or anything, um, but people really like how a simple game like this is, you know, there's not a whole lot to it, you basically just go and you're just jumping over these guys, and um, I'm just trying to get to the, the place where we can show you what happens when you get to the end of the level, and you can, you know, you can go up on the top there if you wanted to, you can jump over these guys as much as you want, and, um, oh, yep. Oh, nice. And you can see that key over there on the right. And what happens is that's going to be the end of the level. So I'm just going to jump over this guy. I'm going to get in there. I obviously didn't take my time to go get the coins. You can see the timer up top. But when you, when you hit the level and you win the level, I put in uh, ads here. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. But it says stage completed. Awesome. Great job. And then, you know, you, you move on to the next one. And so you get to this next level and the game goes on. And things like that. So you can see up at the top here, um, you know, it shows that you have three lives and what that means. So like if I just went over here and, and jumped and, and decided that that was a good idea, which it isn't, uh, you'd see that I only have two lives left. And when you get to the end of two lives, there's a game over screen. It's very simple, which could easily be updated. And there's also a timer, which is the same, same idea. It, it runs you out of life. And this is, that's the game. So you get to the end of this level, you go to the next one, and, you know, it's all, you know, it's pretty straightforward in that capacity. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna pause it real quick. And you can see the pause button also is like, you know, there could be, a, there should be a more games button here. There's a lot of ways to do it. I'm gonna click quit. And that's gonna fire off the ads one more time. And it's gonna take me back to the, to the main screen. And one thing to notice too is that, so we went through the store last time. If I click play, you have to go through the store again, which I write about in the blog post, but it's kind of like, you know, whenever you, you uh, I, I use the analogy of like an airport terminal. If, you're in the, if you ever go through duty free in an international terminal, you'll notice that you have to walk through like the liquor department before you can actually get to your gate because they want you to buy stuff. And that psychology works the same mobile apps. So the store, you can't get to the gameplay without going through the store. And that, that definitely makes a big difference. Um, so you can see the ads there. And that's, that's the game. So this is obviously the iPad game. There's four versions. You know, the revenue speaks for itself. And Brian really hooked up the code and he did a great job with everything and all the documentation. So read through the blog post and both Brian and I will be answering questions. I think this is a really, really awesome one. And I talked to Brian about it and I said, you know, look, I've been listening to a lot of what people have been saying and I think we should really start um, getting these prices really aggressive and he agreed. So originally we were gonna price this way higher and um, we decided to, to give it at a price that's much more affordable so that a lot more people can get involved, especially when you're gonna get four codes um, with the one purchase. So hope that was helpful. Definitely leave questions. Brian and I will answer them as quickly as we can. And I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, see ya.